All right, today is what? Thursday, Lud? Today yeah. is Thursday. Uh, Thursday. Actually, you know what? I drove through Diamond Subdivision earlier uh, in the car. Then there's some people had wanted, you know, wanted me to drive through Diamond Subdivision. Some people that might have lived there and, you know, they wanted me to check it out. But after I got home, I uploaded the video and the windshield was, it was just nasty. You really, just put it this way, I, I wouldn't put it up because it, it was just, wasn't good quality. Um, but anyways, I had a subscriber stop by today. Now, Lud is usually in the store. The only time she's not around is if she has to do her shopping. And she does like one big shop every week. And of course, I'm not, I wasn't here. Hannah Grace was here and uh, the neighbor lady here, Sheila, who's here quite a bit. She was with Hannah Grace. Um, but I missed this subscriber. It was a Filipino. And a um, Filipino woman who is a subscriber. If that is you, please send me a message. I apologize for not being here, but I'm usually here in the afternoon. Uh, I stay home during in the morning and, uh, you know, just do things around the house and whatever, errands and stuff. But this subscriber dropped by a bunch of these little teddy bank bears here. They're in the bag right here. But a bunch of these little teddy bank bears, you know, orange one, blue ones, pink ones, a whole bag of them. And uh, I would like to speak to her if she could send me a message so I know who it is. And she also dropped off um, these little boxes here. Uh, they're almost like a little tackle box, like a fishing box is what I would say they are. Or they could be like a little money box. Uh, but they kind of remind me of a little fishing box. But anyways, thank you for stopping by and dropping them off. I uh, apologize, nobody was here. Well, people were here, just not me and Lut. But anyways, she just did her big shopping for the for the week. And uh, the store's a mess right now. Everything is all over the place. She's got all her stuff here. That's all stock. There's some more of them little teddy bears, little banks. Candy's all stocked. Uh, no, Fruit Loops are not for sale. I just bought Tim and S&R. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a mess right now. What Lut does every week is she goes through and she wipes down all the shelves and wipes down all the product because it is kind of dusty on the road here. So that is what Lut, Lut Lut is doing. Cans all over. You know what guys, check these chips out. Right here. These are the best chips going. Uh, they're kettle cooked sriracha hot chili sauce, kettle cooked potato chips. They're good. They're very crunchy. They're kettle, kettle cooked, like I said, and uh, got these at SNR. I'm always looking for like a real good potato chip. A lot of the chips here, they're, um, I don't know, they just, they kind of, they don't really have a crunch to them. They're kind of like a, I don't know, like a soft, non-crunchy chip they almost like kind of taste like they're kind of going stale but they're not stale uh, they're obviously they're brand new out of the bag but those are excellent man I love those um, also picked up some ham some cheese so I can make some ham and cheese sandwiches uh, what else could I pick up some like cracker spread things like that um, yeah, one thing when you go shopping at SNR, uh, you only need a few items for your bill to get up there. But like I say, they only have certain items you can get there. So, but anyways, there is justice. Just resting, sleeping. Middle of the day is very hot again. Liberty is up under here. Liberty's tucked back in that corner sleeping back there so but anyways it'll probably be a day of just hanging out here in the store there's Lutz helper Sheila Hello. <laughs> <laughs> she really helps out a lot and she brings food over all the time so uh, she's a good neighbor thank you 
We can leave her in the store with Hannah Grace and everything will be fine. What are you gonna say, Lit? Anything? Huh? Gotta say anything, Lit? Uh, I don't know. I, can't, I, I was thinking, what should I do with this? It's too many. She bought a lot of stuff. Like I said, once a week she shops and loads up the store and then if she runs out of things, well, there's certain things every week she gets quite a few times, cigarettes, alcohol, oh, yeah, sodas. I buy, I I buy cartons of our, uh, cigarettes. Oh, she actually bought cartons of cigarettes this time. How much is, how much is in a carton? 10. 10, how much is a carton of Marlboro? Huh? How much is a carton of Marlboro? 778. And 78 pesos so that is about let me see roughly um, maybe seven dollars no 10 11 12 13 14 hang on five is about ten ten dollars about seventeen dollars for a carton of Marlboro and uh, that's cheap but she sells them all the time so she loaded up this time but it's a mess it's a mess, baby. It's a mess. It's a mess, Sheila. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> it's a mess. And it, is Sheila single, right? Yes. Wow. I'm available. <laughs> Sheila is single and available for yes. anybody out there. <laughs> Lisa. Please. I'm not. I'm. I'm. This isn't a dating. Uh, this isn't a dating I channel. But. Sheila is, Sheila is single and available, everyone. Yeah. What kind of man are you looking for, Sheila? Right here. <laughs> Responsible. Oh, I can't see you. Accept me for who I am. And then... <laughs> Responsible, accept you for who you am. Of course, accept my kids. Accept her kids. <laughs> How many kids? I have only two. two. She has only two kids. Yeah. So there's Sheila, and she is available, single and ready to mingle. Yeah. Do you like to ask me too? Oh, what am I going to ask you, Lut? What should You're I like? Available. If I'm available or not? Are you available? Huh? Are you available, Lut? No, I'm already reserved. She's already reserved. Yes. So Lut is not single, and she is not ready to mingle. Yes. See another thing Lut does too when she gets back from shopping. Like I said earlier, she wipes down all the shelves and everything, but. She also rotates the old product to the front, which you should do uh, for expiration reasons. Now, a lot of these expiration dates on these are, I don't know, they're what, <clears throat> a couple years before they expire. I don't know, let me see. Is there an expiration date on these, Lit? Yes, boss. Put oh, on the, the bottom. bottom. 15 November, 2010. 15 November 2017 to 15 November 2019. I don't know if you can see that or not. So yeah, she'll rotate everything to the front, uh, all the older product that's sitting on the shelves. But I mean, it's got a two-year, two-year uh, expiration date. But yeah, there's, there's all the cigarettes right there that she got today. So she is stocked and ready to go. Weekends they fly off the shelf like crazy. Same with the alcohol. I think yesterday she sold like two cases of Red Horse. And of course when people are drinking, people will buy the snacks. So we got the snacks and they'll buy the noodles. And we got bags of snacks here. Getting ready for the weekend. All right guys, I wanted to show you some of these snacks these like chips that they sell here in the Philippines and we got our lovely model Lut Lut here um, <clears throat> these right here they are Marty's, Marty's crackles Thanks. Marty's crackling spice vinegar flavor uh, they're real good they're like a chicharron and they have multiple flavors of these and uh, <clears throat> they're awesome I like these these are very good very crispy and very tasty uh, cheesy Cheese it. Not like cheese it in America, but these are cheese flavored pieces of cardboard is the best way I can pretty much describe them. Uh, yeah, cheese it. Uh, Oshi. Oshi prawn crackers. Oshi prawn crackers, spicy flavors. 
These are pretty good. Um, they're a little crunchy, uh, kind of cardboardy taste, I would say, but they got some spicy flavor to them, so those are pretty good. Bless you, Lit. Choco, Choco Chum. I gotta pronounce it right. Somebody says I don't pronounce things right. Choco Chum. These are pretty good. They're uh, they're like a little wafer, a uh, little round wafer, or a little square wafer, wafer like you can see, and they got chocolate in them. And these are really good when they melt, because when you bite into them, the chocolate's all melted, and they taste pretty good. Um, and they make them in vanilla also. So yeah, those are pretty good. Cheese rings. Cheese rings. These are pretty good too. They're crunchy. They kind of taste like a cheese puff. Best way to describe it. They got kind of that cheesy puffy flavor. Um, I like those. Those are good. What else we got here? Look. Clover. Clover chip. Seven. Uh, another piece of cardboard flavor. They're not very good. I don't care for them. Uh, what else you got here? Look. Did we do a review on those? Not yet. Oh, these Cheesy's Corn Crunch. These are pretty good. They're crispy. They're crunchy. They kind of remind you of a Cheeto. You know, the Cheeto that you eat back in the United States. And what else most, we got? Most Filipino like. Yeah, most Filipino like them. Piatos. Piatos are pretty good. Nah, they're not that good. Who am I kidding? Uh, another flavored piece of cardboard. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you some of the snacks. Did we do one on the V-cut? No. We didn't? Are you sure? Oh, V-cut. Now these are my, these are one of my favorite. They're V-cut barbecue uh, potato chip. They got a nice crunch to them. They taste almost, they got the crunch of like a Pringles or uh, not a Pringles, but a, uh, what do you call it? A uh, ridge, rigid, ridge, ridge, ruffles. There it is, ruffles. I couldn't get it out. They have a flavor and the taste of a ruffles, but anyways, there is a little show of some of the snacks that they sell here in the Philippines. Thank you a lot. You're you were a good model. So you always see things hanging off of the sorry, sorry store um, fencing uh, across the street. Every sorry, sorry store you go, you see these things just hanging off of the fences here, your chips and things like that. But I wanted to show you how it's done. Look takes pieces of cardboard. She cuts them up and then she carefully, without poking through the bag, staples it to the piece of cardboard. She'll staple it right on that lip right there. Because if you staple the bag, you're going to pop it, and then of course you're not going to have fresh, uh, fresh chips. But that is how she does it. Sheila is marking out the uh, prices. Let's well, gotten to the point now. She pretty much knows what the price is on everything. She don't have to look at a receipt. So she's shopped long enough now to know. But yeah, you can see how she's putting them on there, making like a string. Those are the clover cardboard chips. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what she got on there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Help seven. She'll put eight on there. Whatever she can get on there. Seven? I think seven. And she hops up on her trusty stool, balance herself up there. Wrap it around one of the bars. Take it up there and there it is. It's good to go. <laughs> she plans to line this all through here. It's nice though because you know what? It acts as shade also. So that's how it's done. All right, Lud is almost wrapping this one up, her and Sheila. So I think I'm gonna wrap this one up. Uh, tomorrow I got a busy day. We're meeting up with a subscriber and his family. Uh, 
He's also one of my Patreons, and uh, we're gonna do a little little sightseeing around Angeli City tomorrow. So that's what's going on tomorrow. But anyways, guys, like I said, I'm gonna wrap this one up. And uh, got anything to say, Lut? Huh? Anything to say? Well, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. Give it a thumbs up, thumbs down. Choice is always yours. Until next time. Until next time. <laughs>